signature of a business. When I came up, you know, everybody said, go to a four-year college, blah, blah, blah. Really and truly, if I had it to do over again, I would come to a community college and learn a skill. Because skilled labor right now, these guys are the future. They're going to be the ones making the money. We do offer a certificate program, a technical certificate program, and an associate's degree out of this program. So there's three career paths that they could take. A one-year, two-year, or take some academics and do an associate's degree. We do an apprentice program and an on-the-job training program through Wynn Job Center with several of our dealers in our area. And I've got dealerships and private guys just beating the door down needing technicians. So this skill right here is something they can carry on through life, they can make a living at. If you know what you're doing, you can make six figures. No problem. That's a lot of money. I've been on heavy equipment my entire life. Yeah, I was nine years old and my dad told me to dig a ditch about a mile long and left me there for a week and I did it. It's a lot of different pieces of equipment it takes to get the job done. We have backhoes, kid steers, track loaders, bulldozers, motor graders, dump trucks. You need to know all of them and be a master at one or two of them. That way you can fluctuate throughout a construction job site. Construction equipment, it's everywhere. My long-term goal has always been to teach. I had a professor when I was in culinary school that was kind of one of these life-changing guys. Spent a lot of time and effort with me. Uh, my long-term goal was always to give back, to be able to share my knowledge of food uh, with a younger generation. In the culinary world, our end game is very simple. We're trying to entertain you and we're trying to fulfill you. Whether it's through the sight of the food, the smell of the food, or the taste of the food, you have to have all three of those aspects together to make a really, really good dish. There's one thing their freshman year that I just beat to death, and it's the six keys to becoming a professional chef. Knowledge, skill, taste, judgment, dedication, and pride. And if a student has those six things and follows through with them, they will be wildly successful. Having a dream and following through with that dream is probably one of the most rewarding things that I can have. We are broad in our area of what we teach. A student can come through and they can go in the mechanical design aspect of it. They can go into the architectural. They can go into the civil and surveying, estimating. I would say this is probably the sixth or fifth year that we've been heavy into the 3D printing. It is a valuable tool and it's the wave of the future. You don't have to have an art background. You don't have to have an engineering background. You want to pursue a four-year degree? We've got different avenues for that also. So my spare time, I'm still drawing at home, uh, designing residential homes and commercial buildings. I love what I do. And when I can teach a student to do and love what I do, it makes my day. It's wide open with electrical technology. We start with basic residential wiring. Uh, we start talking about how AC-DC works together. And then we go into motor control for our second semester. Then after the first year, we go into 
pneumatics and hydraulics. Fourth semester, we go into AutoCAD, we go into PLC, Programmable Logic Control. So anything to do with electrical, we basically cover that. Their career options are unlimited, so you could be just a regular handyman doing residential, putting ceiling fans up, remodels for kitchens, can lights, receptacles, hanging wall-mounted TVs. You could go work with a grain bin system. You could work for a farmer, a grain elevator. Cellular South picks our guys up because they need technicians for the towers. They can make 50, 60 grand starting out. So I have students who are hired before they get out of school. Our program deals more with the agronomy side of agriculture and how to grow crops. Also with the agribusiness side, we talk about yield monitors on combines and cotton pickers. We talk about uh, guidance on tractors. We talk about variable rate technologies. We talk a little bit about remote sensing and how we're using the drones out on the farm. We get into dealing with a little bit on livestock. We cover so many weeks for each crop that we grow around here. And I also teach a farm machinery and shop management class. With the technological background we've got now in agriculture, there are some good paying jobs out there waiting. And right now, we've got more people calling in with jobs than we've got graduates to fill them. It's very special to me that you can take a seed and plant it in the ground, and you can see a plant grow, and you can see something to harvest from it. MDCC has your college experience close to home. A quality education, passionate instructors, and financial support. It's the place your journey begins. Visit msdelta.edu and register today. Dream big, plan well, and be anything. love the field of study, love refrigeration. It's what I've done basically since I got out of high school. I came right into this same program in this same shop. Well, with HVAC, there's so many different avenues you can take between refrigeration, ice machines, commercial refrigeration, uh, residential heating and air conditioning, commercial heating and air conditioning, and so on and so forth. There's endless opportunities for these guys. Our goal is to have these sophomores placed at a job where after spring break, they don't come back. They're on the job learning and providing for their family. There's nothing better to have a student come back after five or six years to give you their success story. How they went from where they were to where they are now, and I was a part of that. I am a graduate of Mississippi Delta. I stayed here four years. I took HVAC and I took industrial electricity slash industrial maintenance. I don't get stuck in a rut. That's why I chose industrial maintenance, heating in there, for the simple reason I'm not stuck in a building all day. I might be wiring up lights at a customer's house today. I might be working on a well motor tomorrow. Then they might want to go to a factory. Then they might want to go work for a welding company. A student will be able to decide what way he wants to go. If they're serious, they can get a job anywhere. Well, I tell them if they have a willingness to learn, I can show them how to get out and get a good job, and they can make all the money they want to. You know, they get top pay when they graduate. For two years, you can make anywhere from $18, $24 an hour, somewhere in that range. I really like 
when I see a student learn something. That's very rewarding. Precision agriculture essentially is applying crop production inputs on a site-specific basis to reduce waste, increase profit, and maintain the quality of the environment. It's uh, everything from working on the computer and geographic information systems, how we look at imagery, do prescription maps, to trapping beavers, to, to learning about wild hog control and what the best methods are for that. It's a two-year program, so you can get an associate's degree or you can do it in essentially a year and a half if you want to just get the certificate in precision agriculture. And if you would like to continue on to a university with a four-year degree, there's a great articulation that we have now with Mississippi State University and also Alcorn. What I enjoy about teaching is taking a student who has never been around. Started as 12 people, two of which are already at work. They've been working for two weeks now. They don't even come to class. They come and take their exam at the end of the year, and they've been getting a paycheck. You can make all the money that you're willing to go out and make. The sky's the limit. MDCC has your college experience close to home. A quality education, passionate instructors, and financial support. It's the place your journey begins. Visit msdelta.edu and register today. Dream big, plan well, and be anything. My name is Ben Folk. I'm an instructor of music and entertainment industry studies. And today, I'd like to give you an inside look at our entertainment industry studies recording studios here on the Moorhead campus. Let's go.
My heart is with the students. We are such a tight-knit group here in Business Office Technology. We just get to know them personally. We get to know them as far as what they want to do with their future to help guide Good evening, everyone. This is Trey Hobbs, the head softball coach here at Mississippi Delta, giving me your play-by-play. And we have a return by number four, Northwest. For Bryston Abel. To screen play. Keegan Patterson to number zero, Kyler Hutton. For a gain of five. to completion again to number zero Kyler Hutton down to Mississippi Delta's 30 <laughs> quarterback keeper runs out of bounds at the Mississippi Delta. That's a gain about four. Incomplete pass that'll be third and six. Pass intended for Rashard Daniels, incomplete. Number 18 on the rush. Oh. And touchdown by Northwest. Number 18, Xavier Davis, sophomore from Flowood, Mississippi. for the extra point. Jackson Alterton from Hernando, Mississippi. And the kick hits the upright and it goes in. Northwest seven, Mississippi Delta zero. And um, be a part of them. Our students that go the accounting direction will take the same basic core classes that all BOT students take. They also begin to pick up advanced business accounting that the other majors do not. They take payroll accounting, they take income tax accounting, QuickBooks. 
they all will be able to go and be um, like a payroll clerk, an accounts payable receivable clerk. Some of our students want to go on to the university level and they can, and they're prepared to go on and get a, a maybe possibly a bachelor's degree in accounting or even get their CPA. And we're back. Mississippi Delta's off to return the kick. Kick returns by Jaquan Fry. Tackle by Quay Ragsdale at the 22 yard line. And the Mississippi Delta is first and 10. Led by the shifty quarterback, Troy Griffin from Indianola, Mississippi. And that's a quarterback keeper. And Mississippi Delta is second and five in their own territory. Pass by Troy Griffin to number one, Sir Trotter. Sir Trotter is the sophomore from Cleveland, Mississippi. Went to Cleveland Central High School. And that's third and two. Looks like we have a flag. Should be offsides. Offsides on the defense. And that'll give us a Mississippi Delta first down. And that'll move Mississippi Delta first and 10 on their own 35. We have number 24, Davion Austin in the backfield with Troy Griffin. And we have a quarterback keeper. Again. To about the 48. Excuse me, the 47. We'll see a lot of quarterback keeping from Troy Griffin. Like I said, the kid is very athletic and shifty. Incomplete pass in the, intended for the Camby Willis, the 6'4 receiver from West Lowndes, Mississippi. Pass by, no, by Troy Griffin, completed to Sir Trotter. And that'll be a Mississippi Delta first down, moving into Northwest Territory.
That should be another offside by Northwest. Let's see what the call is here. That offside is on number 99. First and five on Northwest 35 yard line. And we have a miscommunication here. Troy Griffin falls on the fumble. That'll be second and 10 now. Twenty-four on the carry. Number eleven, Keon Cunningham and Dylan Bullard on the tackle. Number twenty-four, Davion Austin on the carry for no gain. And Troy Griffin keeps it on the quarterback keeper. Looks like a late hit on Northwest sideline. That'll be a late hit on Lamarion Shumpert. Personal foul on Lamarion Shumpert on the late hit. Mississippi Delta is moving down to Northwest Territory, 18 yard line. On the screen play to Sir Trotter. And that's a gain of about six. Number 24, Davion Austin on a carry. Keon Cunningham and Jamalin Green on the tackle. Davion Austin on the carry. Ball spotted on the five yard line. Timeout by Mississippi Delta.
Previous to this, I was actually a math major, but I have my own small business. So I like to use those experiences and share those with my students to hopefully inspire them. So in administrative office, you cover all of the Microsoft office. And we're back. And that looks like a Mississippi Delta touchdown. Number eight, Emory James on the catch. That'll be Davin Klein out to kick the extra point. Snaps back, and the extra point is good. And we'll take you to break. You'll take Microsoft Word 1 and 2, you'll take Excel 1 and 2, and you'll take Microsoft Access. Also, you take business communications, so you learn how to communicate effectively in the business world, and that's so important. One really great benefit to our students is they get to do an externship, so they actually get to go out and shadow and work for a business, so they get those hands-on experiences. They can start off in any entry-level position as far as a payroll clerk goes, an administrative assistant, even possibly a manager of a business. When I came up, you know, everybody said, go to a four-year college, blah, blah, blah. Really and truly, if I had it to do over again, I would come to a community college and learn a skill. Because skilled labor right now, and we're back. We're set to kick off now. Devin Klein. Number four on the return, Jabryston Abram. He puts a little move on Mississippi Delta's kickoff team for a nice gain on the kickoff return. And Jabryston is a freshman from San Antonio, Mississippi, right at home. Number two, Cam Young is in the backfield with Keegan Patterson. Number 88, Derek Harden is in motion. Handoff, and a tackle in the backfield by number nine, Jordan Johnson. Second and 15 now. Quarterback drops back. He throws. And that's a breakup by number nine, Jordan Johnson. Flag on the play. Maybe a pass interference. And that's a pass interference by Jordan Johnson. Gotta give Northwest first and 10 to about the 48, their own 48. 
handoff. And that'll be, he'll be taken down by Aaron Robertson and, and Amari Pam. Both of those are Delta kids. Aaron Robertson went to South Delta and Amari Pam went to Hollandale Simmons. And he breaks away for another Northwest touchdown. Number 15, Keegan Patterson on the pass. Number one, JaVel Ferguson on the catch and the touchdown. Northwest is now leading 13 to seven with about Four minutes and 40 seconds left in the first quarter. Russell Tanner's out to kick the extra point. And it's good. Now we'll be going to break. Future, they're going to be the ones making the money. We do offer a certificate program, a technical certificate program, and an associate's degree out of this program. So there's three career paths that they could take. A one year, two year, or take some academics and do an associate's degree. We do an apprentice program and an on the job training program through Wynn Job Center with several of our dealers in our area. And I've got dealerships and private guys just beating the door down needing technicians. So this skill right here is something they can carry on through life, they can make a living at. If you know what you're doing, you can make six figures. No problem. That's a lot of money. And we're back. Northwest is set to kick off. Mississippi Delta is set to return. He kicks away. Touchback. Number 11, Jaquan Fry, was set for the return. Mississippi Delta is back out on offense. On the 25 yard line. Number 24, Davion Austin is in the backfield with Troy Griffin. I'm not sure what's going on on the field, but as I stated before, giving you your play-by-play -play is Trey Hobbs, the head softball coach, former All-State pitcher here at Mississippi Delta and All-American at Delta State. And we have a handoff. Number 24, Davion Austin on the carry once again. For three yards, that gives Mississippi Delta second and seven in, North, in their own territory. Pass again from Troy Griffin to Sir Trotter on the hookup. The 
Man, I tell you, that Sir Trotter is hard to guard. Not very big in stature, but he's pretty shifty. Griffin is set back for the snap. Handoff to Davion Austin. Gives Mississippi Delta second and six. He pulled it. Incomplete intended for Jaquel Allen. And that's another hookup from Troy Griffin to Sir Trotter for a big gain. Man, I tell you, that duo is pretty nice. They've been nice all season for the Mississippi Delta Trojans. Now Mississippi Delta is in Northwest Territory. Timeout on the field. Kieran Cunningham on the night has six tackles. Bullard has five. Green has three for Northwest. McGee for Mississippi Delta has three tackles. Pam has two, Jordan Johnson has one. With about two minutes left in the first quarter, Keegan Patterson with 89 passing yards, Troy Griffin with 80. back after the timeout. Man, that Sir Trotter, he's has five receptions and 75 yards on the night so far in the first quarter. Incomplete pass. And that's Lamarion Shumpert on the breakup. And that's an incomplete pass broken up by number three, Charles Thomas, intended for Jaquel Allen.
And Troy Griffin on the keeper. That'll give Mississippi Delta fourth down. Fourth and four, and I think they're going for it. Mississippi Delta used their third and final timeout of the half. Mississippi Delta Athletics wants to thank Dr. Edward Teal, Dr. Wayne Dow, Dr. Frank Smith, and their staff for supporting Trojan Athletics. And number 28. Davin Klein out to kick the field goal for three points. And it's no good. From 29 yards, wide left. And that'll give Northwest the ball in their own territory. And number 36 is in the backfield. Number 15 on the keeper. Out of bounds, that'll give Northwest second and six. Number six on the carry, number 36 in the backfield once again. Stewart. The 200-pound outside linebacker from Crystal Springs, Mississippi. And that'll be your first quarter. Northwest 14, Mississippi Delta 7. And we're all going to break. I've been on the heavy equipment my entire life. Yeah, I was nine years old, and my dad told me to dig a ditch about a mile long and left me there for a week, and I did it. It's a lot of different pieces of equipment it takes to get the job done. We have backhoes, skid steers, track loaders, bulldozers, motor graders, dump trucks. You need to know all of them and be a master at one or two of them. That way you can fluctuate throughout a construction job site. Construction equipment, it's everywhere. back number 15 Keegan Patterson from Colorado found his way down to 
Northwest Community College in Senatobia, Mississippi. He drops back. Pass complete to zero. Number 15, Colin Williams on the tackle. Defensive back from Hattiesburg, Mississippi. And that's number six on the carry. Hand off again. Looks like he's just short of a first down. Third and one. First down, according to the officials. Looked a little short from up here. Number 15 drops back. Bomb down the field. Incomplete. Intended for number nine, Rashard Daniels. And there's Charger. Pruitt Walker on the coverage. Seven in motion. And quarterback rolls out incomplete again. Third and ten. Northwest in their own territory. Number 15 drops back. And that's a breakup, nearly an interception by Vamario McGee from Rolling Fork, Mississippi. And that'll be fourth and 10. Northwest out to punt. Man, I tell you, Mississippi Delta's been playing a great defense so far. Late flag on the play. <laughs> I guess you would call that um, a trick play as the punter keeps it and runs with it. The refs are in a powwow down there discussing the flag. The 
Defense. Late hit out of bounds after the play. And Mississippi Delta out in their own territory on about the 35. And that's a toss. Davion Austin on the carry. That gives us about second and four. Northwest is in a three-man front. Looks like they're running. Davion Austin on the carry again. That'll give us about third and two. Third and one, excuse me. On Mississippi Delta's 44-yard line. Looks like Troy Griffin is keeping it. Gets a first down. Man, I say it time and time again, Troy Griffin. That's a shifty young kid, freshman out of Indianola, Mississippi. Griffin drops back. Incomplete pass intended for number 14, Swahili Irby from Louisville, Mississippi. Right in the hands of number seven, Ja'Kel Allen, and it drops. Now third and ten. Fumble, five picks it up, he throws it, and that's a completion. To number 82, to Camby Willis. Mississippi Delta is now down in Northwest Territory. Big hit in the backfield by number zero, Tristan Shorter from Oxford, Mississippi. Ball is on Northwest six yard line. Last trip down in the red zone, Mississippi Delta scored. Let's see if they can do it again. Rush again by Davion Austin. 
He pushes, he pushes. Just comes up a little short of the end zone. Number eight, Rod Daniels. And number 33, Jalen Johnson on the tackle. Excuse me. Last time in the red zone, Mississippi Delta missed the three-point field goal. As of now, they're 50% in the red zone. False start. On number 77, Samari Jackson from Shaw, Mississippi. And that gives Mississippi Delta a third and seven. Pass, and that'll be another Mississippi Delta. Touchdown, Troy Griffin on the hookup to Davion Austin for about seven yards. Man, in the red zone, Mississippi Delta is two for three. That's about 67%, which is very efficient on the extra point. Is no good. And we'll go to break. term goal has always been to teach. I had a professor when I was in culinary school that was kind of one of these life-changing guys, spent a lot of time and effort with me. Uh, my long-term goal was always to give back, to be able to share my knowledge of food uh, with a younger generation. In the culinary world, our end game is very simple. We're trying to entertain you and we're trying to fulfill you. Whether it's through the sight of the food, the smell of the food, or the taste of the food, you have to have all three of those aspects together to make a really, really good dish. There's one thing their freshman year that I just beat to death, and it's the six keys to becoming a professional chef. Knowledge, skill, taste. And 14 is set off to return. on the tackle. Northwest will start this drive out on their own 22 yard line. gun drops back he scrambles a little bit and he is hit by number 45 Jacoby Franklin in the backfield and he gets that pass off 
while being hit to number one, JaVel Ferguson. Looks like that'll be a flag. Maybe on the defense, number 21, Darion Taylor. From Memphis, Tennessee. Fifteen yard penalty on the face mask. The ball is now on Mississippi Delta's forty five yard line. Number fifteen back in the gun. Fifteen on the rush, and he gets a big gain down to about Mississippi Delta's 21-yard line. Keegan Patterson from Longmont, Colorado. Can throw a little bit as well as use the legs. 18 on the rush. Number 48, Jonathan Nicholson on a tackle. Pass to number 18, Xavier Davis on the reception. Reception is complete. Third and, Third and two for the Rangers. Third and two for the Northwest Rangers in Mississippi Delta's territory. And the handoff, he slips. Number 48, Jonathan Nicholson on the tackle again. Fourth and one, it looks like Northwest is going for it. On the rush, 18. Couple of flags thrown on the field. And that'll be. Legal substitution, too many men on the field by Mississippi Delta. Rush again by number 18. Stopped by host of Trojans, second down, second and goal. Number 45 on the tackle, Jacoby Franklin, to stop Xavier Davis from scoring. On the one yard line.
rush again, and he hops right through the defense. Score is now 20 to 13. Northwest out to kick the, kick the extra point. And extra point is good. 21 to 13 Northwest. And we're going to break. And pride. And if a student has those six things and follows through with them, they will be wildly successful. Having a dream and following through with that dream is probably one of the most rewarding things that I can have. We are broad in our area of what we teach. A student can come through and they can go in the mechanical design aspect of it. They can go into the architectural. They can go into the civil and surveying, estimating. I would say this is probably the sixth or fifth year that we've been heavy into the 3D printing. It is a valuable tool and it's the wave of the future. You don't have And we're back. Short kick out of bounds. Whoa, looks like a couple of late hits on that play. Look like a flag is thrown. Free kick out of bounds. Ball be placed at the 35 yards. Mississippi Delta on their own 35-yard line after the after the penalty. And that looks like Austin with carry. Austin on the carry. On a short game. Austin's been very involved in this game. Sir Trotter. Sir Trotter has been the go-to receiver tonight. It's been targeted five times. Davion Austin on the rush. Austin with the short game. Number 42, Ja'Cory Jones on the tackle. Actually, Ja'Cory Jones is a Delta kid as well from Cleveland, Mississippi. Second and seven. Pass by number five. Looks like Willis tried to take off before he caught the ball. Gives Mississippi Delta a third and seven. Still in their own territory. About the 47 yard line.
five on the rush. Look like he's stopped by Keon Cunningham and DJ Burgess. Fourth and six. Have a timeout by Northwest. You don't have to have an engineering background. You want to pursue a four-year degree? We've got different avenues for that also. So my spare time, I'm still drawing at home, uh, designing residential homes and commercial buildings. I love what I do. And when I can teach a student to do and love what I do, it makes my day. It's wide open with electrical technology. We start with basic residential wiring. Uh, we start talking about how ACDC works together. And then we go into motor control for our second semester. Then after the first year, we go into pneumatics and hydraulic. And we're back with like Mississippi Delta is playing. Looks like it'll be out of bounds. Devin Klein on the punt. Remind you of a black tie gala. There's a ticket giveaway coming soon, so please continue to listen. 229 left in the half. Mississippi Delta really needs a stop here before the half. Northwest is averaging six yards a carry. And they hand it off again. Looks like they're in a hurry up offense. And that's a stop in the backfield by Jonathan Nicholson. Another Delta kid from Rolling Fork, Mississippi. Drops back to pass. Incomplete pass intended for Kyler Hutton. Now fourth and five. Looks like Northwest is out to punt. Last time the punter kept it, took off and got a first down. Punts away, looks like a not so good punt. Short punt, rolls out of bounds around the 20 yard line. The Trojans take over in their territory at the 20 yard line. Maybe Mississippi Delta would drive the ball down the field, get some points on the board before the half to put them in a great situation. Incomplete pass intended for number one, Sir Trotter. Pass just a tad bit short. Oh. 
Number 11, Keon Cunningham. Is almost on every defensive play for Northwest. Time out by Northwest. 128 left in the first half. 21 to 13. Troy Griffin is back in the gun. Keeps it. And he's stopped by number 44, Demonye Lacy. And once again, Keon Cunningham. Another timeout. Fourth and 11. Mississippi Delta is out to punt. <laughs> Number 25, Fred Adams back to receive the punt to return the punt, and he catches it. Tries to make a move, but he is stopped by a gang of Trojans. Five left on the clock in the first half. I think Northwest will just run the ball to run the timeout before half. Number 15 back in the gun. Oh, he drops back to pass. Incomplete pass intended for number 81. That pass is incomplete. Second down. Cam Harris. Second and 10, oh, bad snap. He ran out of bounds. Looks like a loss of at least, at least nine yards. Fifty-five seconds left in the first half. That'll be third and twenty. I think at this time they'll just rush, and that'll be a tackle. Number thirty-six. Stewart.
fourth and 18. Looks like regardless of how much time they'll run out the clock, they'll still have to run a play in this first half. And they'll drop back to pass. Oh, he nails it. And that's the end of the first half. After the halftime. Fourth semester, we go into AutoCAD and we go into PLC, Programmable Logic Control. For anything to do with electrical, we basically cover that. Their career options are unlimited, so you could be just a regular handyman doing residential, putting ceiling fans up, remodels for kitchens, can lights, receptacles, hanging wall mounted TVs. You could go work with a grain bin system, you could work for a farmer, a grain elevator. Cellular South picks our guys up because they need technicians for the towers. They can make 50, 60 grand starting out. I have students who are hired before they get out of school. Our program deals more with the agronomy side of agriculture and how to grow crops. Also with the agribusiness side, we talk about yield monitors on combines and cotton pickers. We talk about uh, guidance on tractors. We talk about variable rate technologies. We talk a little bit about remote sensing and how we're using the drones out on the farm. We get into dealing with a little bit on livestock. We cover so many weeks for each crop that we grow around here. And I also teach a farm machinery and shop management class. With the technological background we've got now in agriculture, there are some good paying jobs out there waiting. And right now, we've got more people calling in with jobs than we've got graduates to fill them. It's very special to me that you can take a seed and plant it in the ground, and you can see a plant grow, and you see something to harvest from it. MDCC has your college experience close to home. A quality education, passionate instructors, and financial support. It's the place your journey begins. Visit msdelta.edu and register today. Dream big, plan well, and be anything. Love the field of study, love refrigeration. It's what I've done basically since I got out of high school. I came right into this same program in this same shop. Well, with HVAC, there's so many different avenues you can take between refrigeration, ice machines, commercial refrigeration, uh, residential heating and air conditioning, commercial heating and air conditioning, and so on and so forth. There's endless opportunities for these guys. Our goal is to have these sophomores placed at a job where after spring break, they don't come back. They're on the job learning and providing for their family. There's nothing better to have a student come back after five or six years to give you their success story. How they went from where they were to where they are now, and I was a part of that.
I am a graduate of Mississippi Delta. I stayed here four years. I took HVAC and I took industrial electricity slash industrial maintenance. I don't get stuck in a rut. That's why I chose industrial maintenance, heating and air, for the simple reason I I'm not stuck in a building all day. I might be wiring up lights at a customer's house today. I might be working on a well motor tomorrow. Then they might want to go to a factory. Then they might want to go work for a welding company. A student will be able to decide what way he wants to go. If they're serious, they can get a job anywhere. Well, I tell them if they have a willingness to learn, I can show them how to get out and get a good job, and they can make all the money they want to. You know, they get top pay when they graduate. For two years, you can make anywhere from $18, $24 an hour, somewhere in that range. I really like when I see a student learn something. That's very rewarding. Precision agriculture essentially is applying crop production inputs on a site-specific basis to reduce waste, increase profit, and maintain the quality of the environment. It's uh, everything from working on the computer and geographic information systems, how we look at imagery, do prescription maps, to trapping beavers, to, to learning about wild hog control and what the best methods are for that. It's a two-year program, so you can get an associate's degree or you can do it in essentially a year and a half if you want to just get the certificate in precision agriculture. And if you would like to continue on to a university with a four-year degree, there's a great articulation that we have now with Mississippi State University and also Alcorn. What I enjoy about teaching is taking a student who has never been around well before, and by the time we're through with them, they're able to go out and get a job and make a living and provide for themselves and their families. Job prospects look good. If you want to get out there and work, the jobs are there. Your range in which you can go basically depends on your work ethic. My class size started as 12 people, two of which are already at work. They've been working for two weeks now. They don't even come to class. They come and take their exam at the end of the year, and they've been getting a paycheck. You can make all the money that you're willing to go out and make. The sky's the limit.
MDCC has your college experience close to home. A quality education, passionate instructors, and financial support. It's the place your journey begins. Visit msdelta.edu and register today. Dream big, plan well, and be anything. My name is Ben Folk. I'm an instructor of music and entertainment industry studies. And today, I'd like to give you an inside look at our entertainment industry studies recording studios here on the Moorhead campus. Let's go. My heart is with the students. We are such a tight-knit group here in Business Office Technology. We just get to know them personally. We get to know them as far as what they want to do with their future to help guide and direct and um, be a part of them. Our students that go the accounting direction will take the same basic core classes that all BOT students take. They also begin to pick up advanced business accounting that the other majors do not. They take payroll accounting, they take income tax accounting, QuickBooks. They all will be able to go and be um, like a payroll clerk, an accounts payable receivable clerk. Some of our students want to go on to the university level and they can, and they're prepared to go on and get a, a maybe possibly a bachelor's degree in accounting or even get their CPA. Previous to this, I was actually a math major, but I have my own small business. So I like to use those experiences and share those with my students to hopefully inspire them. So in administrative office, you cover all of the Microsoft Office programs. You'll take Microsoft Word 1 and 2, you'll take Excel 1 and 2, and you'll take Microsoft Access. Also, you take business communications, so you learn how to communicate effectively in the business world, and that's so important. One really great benefit to our students is they get to do an externship. So they actually get to go out and shadow and work for a business. 
So they get those hands-on experiences. They can start off in any entry-level position as far as a payroll clerk goes, an administrative assistant, even possibly a manager of a business. When I came up, you know, everybody said, go to a four-year college, blah, blah, blah. Really and truly, if I had it to do over again, I would come to a community college and learn a skill. Because skilled labor right now, these guys are the future. They're going to be the ones making the money. We do offer a certificate program, a technical certificate program, and an associate's degree out of this program. So there's three career paths that they could take. A one-year, two-year, or take some academics and do an associate's degree. We do an apprentice program and an on-the-job training program through Wind Job Center with several of our dealers in our area. And I've got dealerships and private guys just beating the door down needing technicians. So this skill right here is something they can carry on through life, they can make a living at. If you know what you're doing, you can make six figures. No problem. That's a lot of money. I've been on heavy equipment my entire life. Yeah, I was nine years old and my dad told me to dig a ditch about a mile long and left me there for a week and I did it. It's a lot of different pieces of equipment it takes to get the job done. We have backhoes, skid steers, track loaders, bulldozers, motor graders, dump trucks. You need to know all of them and be a master at one or two of them. That way you can fluctuate throughout a construction job site. Construction equipment, it's everywhere. My long-term goal has always been to teach. I had a professor when I was in culinary school that was kind of one of these life-changing guys. Spent a lot of time and effort with me. Uh, and my long-term goal was always to give back, to be able to share my knowledge of food uh, with a younger generation. In the culinary world, our end game is very simple. We're trying to entertain you and we're trying to fulfill you. Whether it's through the sight of the food, the smell of the food, or the taste of the food, you have to have all three of those aspects together to make a really, really good dish. There's one thing their freshman year that I just beat to death, and it's the six keys to becoming a professional chef. Knowledge, skill, taste, judgment, dedication, and pride. And if a student has those six things and follows through with them, they will be wildly successful. Having a dream and following through with that dream is probably one of the most rewarding things that I can have. We are broad in our area what we teach. A student can come through and they can go in the mechanical design aspect of it. They can go into the architectural. They can go into the civil and surveying, estimating. I would say this is probably the sixth or fifth year that we've been heavy into the 3D printing. It is a valuable tool and it's the wave of the future. You don't have to have an art background. You don't have to have an engineering background. You want to pursue a four-year degree? We've got different avenues for that also. So my spare time, I'm still drawing at home, uh, designing residential homes and commercial buildings. I love what I do. And when I can teach a student to do and love what I do, it makes my day. It's wide open with electrical technology. We start with basic residential wiring, 
uh, we start talking about how ACDC works together. And then we go into motor control for our second semester. Then after the first year, we go into pneumatics and hydraulics. Fourth semester, we go into AutoCAD. We go into PLC, Programmable Logic Control. So anything to do with electrical, we basically cover that. Their career options are unlimited, so you could be just a regular handyman doing residential, putting ceiling fans up, remodels for kitchens, can lights, receptacles, hanging wall-mounted TVs. You could go work with a grain bin system. You could work for a farmer, a grain elevator. Cellular South picks our guys up because they need technicians for the towers. They can make 50, 60 grand starting out. I have students who are hired before they get out of school. And we're back for the second half. Number 11 on the return. 24 on the tackle. Jaquan Fry on the return. Number 24, Elijah Ruffin on the tackle. Mississippi Delta on their own 31 yard line. The Trojans start the second half. First and 10 on the 31 yard line. In the first half, Northwest with 10 first downs, Mississippi Delta with 12. Damian Austin on the carry. Number five, DJ Burgess on the tackle and Rod Daniels. Mississippi Delta in the first half, six for nine on third down which is very efficient. Northwest, two of six. Pass broken up. Returning for number 82, DeCambi Willis. That gives us third down and nine. Mississippi Delta still in their own territory. Mississippi Delta actually been playing very well tonight, I would say. And we got a pass. Incomplete. Overthrown. That gives us fourth and nine. That makes it fourth and long. Four and Trojans. Sends the punt team out. Davin Klein with two punts, 55 yards, averaging 27 and a half yards tonight on punts. Longest was 39 in the first half. Punts away. Number 25. No fair catch. He makes a move, makes another move. Down the sideline, out of bounds. The punter Davin Klein on the stop. Northwest offense of that is out. Patterson is 50% on the night with 118 yards, one touchdown. I tell you what, that Xavier Davis is averaging 6.8 yards per carry tonight. 
And that's Xavier Davis again on the carry with a hefty carry. Have a player down, looks like hamstring. Georgia down on the field. Number 22, Keelan Martin Brown down. Seems like a hamstring injury. Our program deals more with the agronomy side of agriculture and how to grow crops. Also with the agribusiness side, we talk about yield monitors on combines and cotton pickers. We talk about uh, guidance on tractors. We talk about variable rate technologies. We talk a little bit about remote sensing and how we're using the drones out on the farm. We get into dealing with a little bit on livestock. We cover so many weeks for each crop that we grow around here and I also teach farm machinery and shop management class. With the technological background we've got now in agriculture, there are some good paying jobs out there waiting. And right now we've got more people calling in with jobs than we've got graduates to fill them. And we have a flag on a plate. Not sure if it's a false start or Offside. Oh, looks like a offsides on the defense. Offsides on number 45, Jacoby Franklin. Looks like he got a little jittery out there. Xavier Davis on another carry. Number 36. Stewart on the tackle. Looks like they're in a hurry up offense. Eighteen on the carry again. Looks like he'll be stopped behind the line by number 40. Kennedy Baker from Ridgeland, Mississippi. That's Kennedy Baker, number 40 with the stop for the Trojans. They're in the Mississippi Delta red zone. Fire the snap. Looks like a false start on the offense. Second and 16. Second and 19 still in Mississippi Delta's territory. Looks like a pass, and incomplete pass. A couple flags down. Maybe a pass interference. Ball's now on Mississippi Delta's five yard line. I'm sure the ball will be handed off to Xavier Davis here as they've, oh, I'm wrong. Back to pass, overthrown. Incomplete. Second down, second and goal for the Rangers. Second and five now.
Drop back to pass. And that's pass deflected by number nine, Jordan Johnson from Rolling Fork, Mississippi. I'm really surprised that Northwest is not running the ball here in the Mississippi Delta Red Zone as Xavier Davis has been very good carrying tonight. And they drop back to pass again. Incomplete pass intended for Xavier Davis. I'm really surprised by the play calling there. As the old saying goes, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Northwest Bread and Butter has been running the ball tonight. Twenty-two yard field goal is good. And we'll be back. It's very special to me that you can take a seed and plant it in the ground and you can see a plant grow and you can see something to harvest from it. had to settle for three on that drive. Number 11's stopped by number 28 for Northwest, C.J. Brown from Valdosta, Georgia. Tell you what, Mississippi Delta is not out of this ball game. They're honestly one play away, one touchdown away. Griffin with the keeper, short game, second down. Second and nine. As I said Four earlier, shot. they've been playing really well tonight. Just need to overcome that hump. Settle down and make some plays. He rolls out. He passes. Oh. Intended for the Camby Willis. He's looking for a pass interference there, but there's no flags. Third and nine in their own territory. Drops back. He takes off. He passes. Pass intended for Jaquel Allen. Didn't look like the pass was too far from Allen. Sometimes you just need that extra effort quite wasn't there 
Mississippi Delta out to punt. Mississippi. Mountains 49 yard line North looks like. Northwest in the gun. And that's a stop in the backfield by number 40, Kennedy Baker. Second and 11 looks like a loss of one. Northwest is in the gun, as they've been all night. He drops back to pass. Pass is deflected. Deflected by number 45, Jacoby Franklin. I tell you what, Jacoby Franklin been all over plays on the defensive side tonight. Third and 11. Patterson drops back to pass. And it looks like an incomplete pass broken up by number nine, Jordan Johnson again. Fourth and 11. Northwest is out to punt. Patterson has been kind of cold since his first touchdown. He tries to pick it up instead of a fair catch. Questionable decision by number 17. Daniel Hall from Rolling Fork, Mississippi. Davion Austin on the carry, and he is met by number 35, Dylan Bullard, second and eight. Interception by number 20, pick six for Northwest. By number 20, Keyshawn Davila. Got a flag on the play after.
The referees are in a powwow right now discussing the flag. The result of the play is a touchdown. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct. Offense. Put a little force on the kickoff. No, that'll be unsportsmanlike. That's number oh, three. Oh, Northwest. Unsportsmanlike. That penalty was on Demaye Lacey. Unsportsmanlike conduct. And the extra point is good and we'll be back. MDCC has your college experience close to home. a quality education, passionate instructors, and financial support. It's the place your journey begins. Visit msdelta.edu and register today. Dream big, plan well, and be anything. Love the field of study, love refrigeration. It's what I've done basically since I got out of high school. I came right into this same program in this same shop. Well, with HVAC, there's so many different avenues you can take between refrigeration, ice machines, commercial refrigeration, uh, residential heating and air conditioning, commercial heating and air conditioning, and so on and so forth. There's endless opportunities for these guys. Our goal is to have and we're back. Oh. Almost to midfield. Just couldn't get that extra block to break away. Number five on a quarterback keeper. Gets around the corner. For about three yards, second and seven. Number five on the rush again. Looks like he gets four yards on that play, third and three. Gain on the play. That'll be a fourth down for Mississippi Delta. Let's see where they go for it here. Looks like they will. Intended for the Canby Willis again. Incomplete pass. That'll be a turnover on downs.
it looks as is both quarterbacks have have gone cold this quarter. Number 15 and number six in the backfield. Looks like a handoff. Looks like a gain of one yard. It'll be second and nine. Looks like we have an injured player on the field. Well, gets up. Looks like number 45 is in a little pain. Kobe Franklin. He's been a force on defense for the most part. Uh, another handoff. Oh. This is a big third down play for Mississippi Delta as they need a stop. Complete pass, first down, Patterson to number nine, Rashard Daniels. Take it to the ground again. Number six, Damarion Petit. Gain of three yards, second and seven. Shotgun, two running backs in the backfield. Number six again on the carry. No gain. No gain. Number 45, Jacoby Franklin and Kennedy Baker on the stop. That'll be a pass. Oh, and it'll be broken up by number 15, Colin Williams. Fourth down and six. Team come out. Mississippi Delta now with their backs against their own end zone.
maybe Mississippi Delta will get something going here on this drive. Number five and number 24 back. He hands it off. Number five, DJ Burgess on the tackle. No gain, second and 10. Number eight on a carry, right now, Emory the James. No gain on the, on the play. Third and ten. Third and nine. Mississippi Delta still with their backs against their own end zone. Looking to move forward. Pass just out of reach. Looks like a looks like a roughing a passer on Northwest defense. That'll give Mississippi Delta a first down. First and 10, Mississippi Delta's in the gun. Hands it off, Davion Austin. Looks like number 35 and number 33 on the tackle. Dylan Bullard and Jalen Johnson on the tackle. Gain of two yards by Mississippi Delta. Pass complete to Swahili. Pass number 14, Swahili. Irby with the reception. Third down, third and three for the Trojans. Charles Thomas and Camp Shepard on the tackle. Gives Mississippi Delta a third and three. Third and short. Oh, looks like a offside. Incomplete pass. What? Looks like it'll be a Mississippi Delta first down again as the defense jumps off sides. Maybe Mississippi Delta offense will capitalize off the mishaps. Of Northwest's defense, this drive. Ooh. Looks like he met in the backfield. Nowhere to go for number 20. Nowhere to go. Down. Number five, DJ Burgess, and number 99, Jaquees Bucks. Burgess 
has been all over plays for Northwest defense. End of quarter, and we'll be back in just a second. Was placed at a job where after spring break, they don't come back. They're on the job learning and providing for their family. There's nothing better to have a student come back after five or six years to give you their success story. How they went from where they were to where they are now, and I was a part of that. I am a graduate of Mississippi Delta. I stayed here four years. I took HVAC and I took industrial electricity slash industrial maintenance. I don't get stuck in a rut. That's why I chose industrial maintenance, heating in there, for the simple reason I don't, I'm not stuck in a building all day. I might be wiring up lights at a customer's house today. I might be working on a well motor tomorrow. Then they might want to go to a factory. Then they might want to go work for a welding company. A student will be able to decide what way he wants to go. If they're serious, they can get a job anywhere. Well, I tell them if they have a willingness to learn, I can show them how to get out and get a good job, and they can make all the money they want to. You know, they get top pay when they graduate. For two years, you can make anywhere from $18, $24 an hour, somewhere in that range. I really like And we're back. Pass on the run. It's like an incomplete pass. Willis just couldn't hold on to the ball after the big hit. Through three. Troy Griffin is now 10 for 27. Patterson is 7 for 20. Griffin, two touchdowns, one interception. Looks like a second interception throw by Griffin. Number 29, Camp Shepard on the interception. Northwest offense is back out on the field. Patterson was 7 for 20. 123 yards. One touchdown. Xavier Davis on the carry. Number 33, Cornell Thomas on the tackle. from Florida. Uh, he pulls it back. A deflection. Number 45, Jacoby Franklin on the deflection. I will say Mississippi Delta has been playing a decent defense tonight. Offense, just, you know. Can't move the ball. Another carry by number 18, Xavier Davis. He breaks free, gets around the corner, and a couple of Trojans on the stop. Number 46, 
Malik Sims. Have an injury timeout. We'll take a break. I see a student learn something. That's very rewarding. Precision agriculture essentially is applying crop production inputs on a site-specific basis to reduce waste, increase profit, and maintain the quality of the environment. It's uh, everything from working on the computer and geographic information systems, how we look at imagery, do prescription maps, to trapping beavers, to, to learning about wild hog control and what the best methods are for that. It's a and we're back. Another rush by number 18, Xavier Davis. I'll tell you what, Northwest has a big old line that opens up holes for Xavier Davis. And I must say the kid can really carry the ball. And he's wide open, and he misses it as he's overthrown. He backpedals to try to catch that ball. Man, Mississippi Delta is let off the break there. I'm just assuming he got too anxious as he knew he was in the end zone. And Number 18 on the rush, number 40 in the backfield on the stop. Kennedy Baker has been in the backfield all night. And there's a flag on the play. Personal foul, face mask, defense, number 40, 15 yard penalty, first down. Face mask on the play. Questionable flag, but. Northwest is in the gun again. One guy in the backfield along with the quarterback. And that's a reception. Lamario McGee on the tackle. Helmet flies off. He has to come off the field for a play. That's number six. McGee stopped for the Trojans. Fourth the ball is on the... Eighteen yard line. And that's a carry. Number forty is 
in the backfield again. Number 15 back, shotgun, pass up, and it's incomplete again. Fourth down, I assume they'll be attempting a field goal. Thirty-six yard field goal attempt here. He kicks away and the kick is no good. Wide left. The score remains thirty-one thirteen. Man, as I said before, Mississippi Delta defense has really been playing really well tonight. But, as I would say, when you're on the field a lot, you're down sometimes. But, Mississippi Delta offense will get it together. Backfield again, Travion Brown. No gain. Number eight, Emory James is in the backfield now. Playcock is down to six seconds. I don't know if they'll get it off or call a timeout. Indeed, they did call a timeout. That was mighty close there, I'd say. Close to a delay of game. But they got the timeout just in time enough. to number 11, Jaquan Fry. We have third down and six. Four yards gain on the play. He drops back the throw. Did he get a foot in? He did. Flag on the play. Back at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a holding call on the offense. Number 66, 10 yards for your spot. Holding on, number 66, Derek Bolton. 
sophomore from Hollandale, Mississippi. Now to move the Mississippi Delta offense back as it's third and long. They're at 57% on the night on third down efficiency. Up. Oh. Maybe a fourth and long. Davin Klein out to punt. A flag on the play. I didn't see a fair catch, so I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why the flag was thrown. I didn't see a fair catch. Maybe I missed it. I think I need to see an instant replay on this one. As the referees are in a powwow. I wonder will we get an instant replay on that play? And that'll be interference. It was, from my view, it was close. But I don't have the best angle. First and 10 in Mississippi Delta's territory as he hands off to number two, Cam Young, Aaron Robinson on the stop. Number 22, Keelan Martin Brown on the stop as well. Nineteen on the rush, and he's held up and stopped by the Mississippi Delta defense. Team Shade Foster in at quarterback now. Red shirt sophomore from Pearl, Mississippi. Stop in the backfield. Man, I tell you, number 40, Kennedy Baker has been in the backfield all night. That kid just can't be stopped. The 
fourth and eight. Looks like they'll send the kicker out for a field goal attempt. Forty-one yard field goal attempt. Hits the left and it's soft. Field goal's no good. Man, I can't stress enough how Mississippi Delta defense has been playing so good tonight. Man, I tell you, somebody deserves lunch on that Mississippi Delta defense because they've been making stops all night. You couldn't ask for a better defense from them. And number 24 on a carry. He gets around the corner. Big gain on the play by Davion Austin. About five minutes left in the fourth quarter. Incomplete as he throws it out of bounds. Pass thrown out of bounds. Third down. Just short of the first down there. Troy Griffin gives Mississippi Delta, Delta a fourth and one. Looks like he stopped short of the first down. Griffin caught in the backfield. No gain. A loss on the run. Turnover on down. Northwest. Northwest again. And the Mississippi Delta territory. Last two trips, they couldn't get anything as they were stopped by the Mississippi Delta defense. He snaps, hands it off, and he's met by a gang of Trojans. Ninety-five. Aaron Robinson in that bunch on the tackle. Short game for the Rangers. Second down. Second and seven. Second and seven. Three minutes and some change left in the fourth quarter. A shotgun, one back in the backfield, hands it off, and another stop by the Mississippi Delta defense. Man, I tell you, I'm really impressed by this Mississippi Delta defense. They have been playing really hard and really well all game despite the score. I am very impressed.
Hands it off again. He breaks free for a big game. Finally met by number 15, Colin Williams. The freshman from Hattiesburg, Mississippi. First and 10 in Mississippi Delta's territory. Shade Foster taking a snap, hands it off. Number 51 on the tackle. Javar Sherrod. Short gain by number 22. Roman Gregory. And he's met in the backfield by number 45. Jacoby Franklin. I tell you what, him and Kennedy Baker has really been in that backfield all night. They've been all over defensive plays. Can't really ask of anything better from those two in the Mississippi Delta defense. Looks like they're in a victory formation on the kneel down. They were running the timeout. And that looks like ball game. 31 to 13. Northwest with the win. And that'll be all for tonight on the play-by-play. -play. Again, I'm Trey Hobbs, head softball coach here at Mississippi Delta. And we thank you for watching. MDCC has your college experience close to home. a quality education, passionate instructors, and financial support. It's the place your journey begins. Visit msdelta.edu and register today. Dream big, plan well.